Keep the 14-year-old away from us. Have a drink. I want to bang you. And I can hear this on Z100. Have a drink. I want to bang you. This is normal radio, right? Okay. Yes, it is normal radio. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And it's FU Friday. I want to start the festivities by saying, I hate you all. Thank you. That's, that's nice to the to the listeners at home. The faithful listeners, you too. I, I hate, hate you, you all. all. I hate you all. How would you like to suck my ass? I got a quick FU, I guess. Yeah? We give an FU to our own spaz. Why? I caught him. I caught him screwing up. And, and I, I'm, I'm wondering how often this happens because uh, I caught him by chance yesterday. I just happened to be listening to a recording of our program at the beginning of the show. <laughs> yeah. Which we never do. You sure it was the recording of the show or the delay that we're now on? The de- it might be the delay. Or you could actually go home and hear an hour of our show. Driving home, listening to the show. <laughs> No, it was, it was it was a recording of the show, and uh, I heard you, you know how we have our many celebrities. Oh yeah, that have been on the Opie and Anthony just, show, just tons. Anthony. Oh yeah, doing doing little things like you know, hey, uh, I listen to Opie and Anthony. Hi, it's Louie Anderson. I listen to Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Let's give an example. Do we have an example of uh, some of the many oh, we celebrity ones? Oh, okay. How you doing? This is Andrew Dice right. Clay. I got a lot of personnel. I mean, I got a guy that got personnel. Try that one, Anthony. You're listening to Anthony and Opie on WNEW 102.7 FAM. FAM. Okay. All right. Now, that's perfectly acceptable, right? Yeah, and this one's acceptable. Okay. Because it means something. Hey, New York, this is Vince McMahon of the WWF, and you're listening to the greatest tag team in radio, Opie and Anthony. On 1027 WNEW. Right. So your point is, well, Spaz kind of runs the ship in the 2 o'clock hour, doesn't he? You know, the various recorded bits we may play. Oh, we're not here until 3. <laughs> right. And, uh, and you know, usually finish it off with one of those celebrity little things about the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are probably a couple that shouldn't be played anymore. Mm-hmm. And I think you could figure it out just by listening. This was one that Spaz played yesterday. Hey, this is Johnny Lang. Come on, guys. Take it easy on Opie and Anthony. They're the new guys. They're great. They rule. <laughs> and 1027 W-N-E-W. I, do you have to be a rocket scientist to figure out maybe why that one doesn't really apply anymore? Wow. Wait. The new guys? We're the new guys. We've been here t- t- over two years. It, Anthony... New guys. New yeah. guys. No one has been here longer than us at this point. Uh, look at this. Ready to hear the contrast? Yeah. How far we've come in two years? Yes. Okay. This is uh, Johnny Lang when we first started two years ago at this nightmare place we call WNEW. Okay. Hey, this is Johnny Lang. Come on, guys. Take it easy on Opie and Anthony. They're the new guys. They're great. They rule. On 1027 <laughs> WNEW. Anthony? W-N-E-W. Yeah. Fast forward two years. How good does that sound? (laughs) Powered by Opie and Anthony. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But Spaz has to pay a little more attention, I think. He just pulls these things out. Mm. Hello, it's Winston Churchill, and we've just kicked the Nazis' ass. We read, Listen to Opie and Anthony. We read everyone out of town. <laughs> it's now powered by Opie Powered. Anthony. We're not the new guys anymore. Where, where is, is the where, new guy? Where is Spaz? He thinks he's getting fired. This is pretty funny, actually. Where's Spaz? Oh, he does? Spaz. Spaz, did you did you maybe see the error there? And the, uh... I, I didn't listen to the carton. Well, see, now, what's the cardinal rule of being like a board op? And you're supposed to listen... To everything you play before you play it. Yes. So you would listen to that in cue and say to yourself, what would you say to yourself if you listened to that in cue? Uh, don't play it. Why? Because it's outdated. Right. Very good. That's, but you didn't listen that's, to it. Spaz, that's more good. You popped it in. Yes. Especially something like a Johnny Lang thing. Did, does it say Johnny Lang on it? Yes, it does. So you grab, now you know we haven't had Johnny Lang on this show in two years. So why wouldn't you preview it to see maybe, boy, he hasn't been on in a while, so maybe this might not. He's, he's, one, of, uh, he's one of our celebrity friends that blew us off as soon as we stopped playing music. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he loved us as, as long as we were playing music. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what if he would have said something like, you know, on the Rock of New York, W N E W? Well, it didn't say that on the cart label. It's Rock of New York, so I figured it was okay. Very good. <laughs> Best tell uh, tell Anthony what I told you in the office. What happens, best? Um, and, uh, and uh, Spaz met our high-profile uh, agent today. Ah, yes. yes. And uh, according to the agent, he says I should be fired and Stinky should be paid now. Oh yeah, yeah. And Spaz, what'd you say to me? I said uh, whatever's best for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Self-sacrifice. You gotta love it. <laughs> he didn't even fight for his job, Anthony. He, he, he <laughs> didn't even try to just buckle under. He was ready. He was eating McDonald's. He was ready to pack his bag and go oh, home. I'll pack it in. That's okay. What, what, what's, ever, what's ever best for the show, he said. And you know what's not about that? Well, go ahead. As soon as you said that, and he buckled, you walked over and you took French fries out of the thing, <laughs> and he didn't say a word. Right. <laughs> not only was he getting fired, I was taking his French fries. He's like the new fish on the cell block. There's just no fight in him. It's done. And then, and then of course, because we, we were talking about agents and our agencies, the William Morris agency got brought up, and, and he's like, who's the William Morris Who's William Morris? And then he goes, oh, wait, I know. He invented Morris Code. <laughs> and he really said that. You didn't Morris that. Code. Morris Code. Dot, dot, this. Dot, dot, this, this. Stupid! You're so stupid! Spaz, I was very disappointed that you wouldn't fight for your job. But if it's more important for the show for me to be here, I'll be happy to stay. I mean, I really love this job. I've done a lot for the show and I really would like to what have you done for the show I've done a lot for the program um I stay I stay late to burn CDs I do a lot of production work for the show <laughs> um, I've, I've done countless things for the show on, on air I answer the phone pretty well <laughs> I get lost pretty well. <laughs> that is the best Cartman. Why are you so lame? <laughs> oh, great. A lot of people saying that, uh, Spaz, you should disenable the Johnny Lang uh, mm -hmm. bumper. Yes. What's the matter, Spaz? Couldn't find the Brian Setzer bumper? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we have one somewhere. <laughs> oh, that, that one's been removed? I want to play all those old yeah, ones. Yeah, too bad we didn't have some of the real old ones. Our Cheryl Crow ID. Woo. Yeah. Oh, where, where's that one? Boy, we got along great with her, didn't we? Yeah. Third Eye Blind. Third Eye Blind, who just openly hated us. Where's our Third Eye Blind? Wasn't that the one with the... Uh, yeah, what's her name? Charlize Theron was, was in with uh, the singer. Yeah. She was uh, banging him at the time, I guess. And everybody said, don't talk to her. Don't acknowledge her. And we were brand spanking new here, and we clammed up like a couple of big pussies. <laughs> she was in here now. She'd be on the spaz cam, <laughs> naked, <laughs> saying dirty things. <laughs> <laughs> like, that bit yesterday. That bit yesterday was amazing. I just read email after email saying how wrong it was. You Absolutely get titillated. amazing. Did, Steve, <laughs> did you get pictures sent to you on that one? Yeah, oh, I, yeah, uh, he put I got a little impact. I got the spaz, uh, the spaz cam images, and then I put a little, I made a movie file out of those images, so it's downloadable now. So it's like one of those, you know, when you put a, a penny in those little things that you crank the yeah. side, and you look in and see the Keystone cops running going, around. Yeah, that's what it's kind of like. It's a kinetoscope now. Kinetoscope. Kinetoscope. Yeah. Wow. Very good. Using the latest technology. Exactly. Are you <laughs> Fiber optical <laughs> kinetoscope. Fiber optical kinetoscope. <laughs> cool. Well, that's on foundrymusic.com. And we just gave the video that Mark shot yesterday from yeah. uh, her right in the studio. Oh, she's on the line, actually. Oh, yeah? Oh, no. Corinne's boyfriend. Ah, him. Paul. Yeah, hey, what's we up, don't, We don't want to talk to you. We, we want to talk to your hot girlfriend. Uh, she's sick, actually. She's at home right now. What happened? She probably we caught, made her she, sick. She probably caught a cold. She was naked for two and a half hours, and we, we turned the AC w way up. <laughs> Paul, uh, important question. Is she still 19? Uh, yes, I believe she's still 19, guys. Very good. You know, we're yeah. going to have no use for her when she's not a teenager anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, we got a year left. So, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. You're going to be a big part of the show for the next 10 months. <laughs> Thanks. Um, actually, we're catching a lot of crap for this. What's what? the matter? Uh, well, her mom heard it. We kind of got in a little bit of trouble, but... Oh. You know, this show has gotten too big, man. A, a lot of you guys, you really got to stop listening to the radio show. You're, yeah, you're really wrecking, the, you're wrecking the, the show for everyone else. We, we assume that we're doing stuff just for us, and then we get in trouble, because people are listening. People are listening, well, and that shouldn't be. 
So, you know, if, so if you don't think you should be listening to this show, turn it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, you know what it is? We were sitting there, and we were all hanging out, and it, like, it didn't seem that bad. And then I heard the replay today, and I was just like, oh, my God. You know? <laughs> yeah, it never seems bad when it's <laughs> happening. I, I must say my favorite one was the one I wrote. Uh, which one was that? Daddy. Mommy doesn't have to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That one was really good. That's <laughs> criminal. Um, I just wanted to call and say thanks to all you guys and a big thanks to uh, Joey Paisano. Oh, cool. Oh, Joey hooked you up. Yeah, he definitely did. Um, you went you there know, last night? Uh, yeah, right after the show we went there. Did you walk in with the, the pigtails and all? Or? No, she didn't have the pigtails in, but he walked over, introduced himself, and like, yeah, this is a 19 year old, and he was laughing. <laughs> it was a pretty good time. Yeah, he's a great guy, man. Now I can see better with those eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he got his eyes done. Uh, Diamond Vision and Doctor Filtoff uh, took care of him. Really? So he was really checking out your girlfriend last night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Paul. All right, I'm gonna take off, guys. We would love to have you guys come back soon. All right. Uh, actually, if you want to put me on hold, I want to make sure Rick got all my information and, and hers. Yeah, cool. Hold on. All right, thank you. Yeah. Well, hers, hers, Corinne's. Uh, another Paul on the line. Paul, what's up? Hey, O&A, what's up? Hey. That was the best bit of all times yesterday with that little blonde. Oh, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, my brother and I, my brother-in-law and I are truck drivers. We were listening to it, and uh, I said, maybe we can catch it today if we get back to Jersey fast enough. So we ran our butts off, and I'll tell you what, it was worth every minute of yeah, it. Yeah, I think we caused a lot of people to a speed yesterday. Mm -hmm. when, when you're on the road and you're listening and you know you can get to your computer and, and check this stuff out, Oh, definitely. You're opening it up. Four barrels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys got to picture a big truck going down the road as fast as you can go, you know, up the shoulder, just trying to get back to Jersey to hear it. Nice. That was the best, bro. Oh, cool, man. I'm glad you liked that one. Yeah, you know, hopefully uh, you'll have something on the website. We can see what she looked like because we oh, can get to see her. It's up there, it's, Foundry it's, Music. There's some up there Foundry right Music, now. good enough. FoundryMusic.com. Uh, yeah, there's some up there. There's going to be even more now that I have a whole videotape. Uh, yes. All right, Paul, we're going to let you go. Hey, syndicate you whenever. You guys roll. Yeah, whatever. Why? 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 Actually, our agent is uh, discussing that right now as we uh, sit here. <laughs> really? Let's Let's listen in on that very conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <What? laughs> okay, well, but now the GM's got to talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and our agent's response? <laughs> I thought so. Bastard. <laughs> yeah, our agent comes in like twice a year to clean up our messes for us. <laughs> He's like our mommy. <laughs> he cleans up our mess. He's out in California, as far away as he can get and still be in the continental United States. Yeah. <laughs> but he flew in. He's uh, discussing syndication, Anthony. Flew in, I'm sure, first class, and he's staying at the St. Regis. Uh, he, you got to see the hotel he stays in. Oh, I know. It's ridiculous. We walked in there. Remember we walked in and Henry Kissinger was <laughs> walking out of the hotel? Right. Now, Hank Kissinger doesn't stay at a flea bag. I, I heard he uh, stays there just so they iron his heavy metal shirt <laughs> that uh, Henry Kissinger loves to wear. Big Dokken fan, uh, Henry. It's, it's nice to know where our our, our ten percent's going. Yeah, I know. Exactly. The guy, everything had, like was lined with gold. Yeah, all the pillars and everything had gold leaf on them. And and then you walk in there and he's like, "Hey, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing?" And I I met him for uh, breakfast this morning. Yeah. I, I, all I wanted was a cup of coffee and, uh, like, an English muffin. It was too early and stuff, right? Yeah. Guess how much the English muffin was at this hotel. How much? And granted, the hotels jack up the prices. We all oh, know that. Of course. That. $12. $12 <laughs> for an English muffin? <laughs> it was from England, though. <laughs> so I said... Oh, it in special. So I said to the waiter... Oh, the Concord. I said to the waiter, because, you know, when uh, the, the agent's in town, he, he picks up all the bills. Yeah, You're not, but it's not nice guy. I know, I know, because we're paying in the long run. Right. So I find out it's $12, I go, I'll have two. <laughs> <laughs> My breakfast was like $30 for two English muffins and a cup of coffee. Was it 12 bucks for a half? Like, w w when you get two, does that just mean you get one English no, muffin? No, that's what I mean. I had two English muffins oh, okay. times 12. Twenty-four dollars worth of English muffins. Wow! Muffins. You can buy like a case of English muffins yeah. for twenty-four bucks. 
Go to Price Club and get, you know, 400 English muffins. Yeah. A oh. pallet of English muffins. Oh, I know. And I love that when he turns around after you uh, order dinner with him, uh, with our agent, and he's like, uh, oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. Mm. And for a split second, you're like, oh, that's cool. What a nice no, guy. No, wait a minute. Exactly. It's just like I just handed him the cash and he pulled it out of his pocket and said, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What a racket. It's hilarious. <laughs> and then he always bitches about the prices. I'm like, you want to bitch about prices? So did he have a good relationship and rapport going with uh, Ken Stevens? Uh, yeah. But they will be locked in mortal combat yeah. uh, when it comes time to actually do some negotiating. I actually effed up because uh, after breakfast I come here yeah, and I go, hey, why don't you say hi to Ken? We should explain <laughs> to people what the agent does and stuff. The agent lo looks after our best interests. Yeah, your agent is your... Uh, very little negotiating tool. Right. He's the guy, your mouthpiece, so you don't have to go in and look like the bad guy in front of your boss. And uh, Ken, as much as we like him, is management. Right. And they're supposed to lock horns. Mm -hmm. And then if, if, you know, they get into a real heated dispute, you know, and we see Ken, we can just, you know... Hey, the agent, what are well, you Ken? Ken, come on, uh, you know how it is. Yeah. The friggin' agent. Is he giving you a hard time? We'll pull him aside, you know. Right. And then meanwhile, we see the agent, we're like, you twist the screws on this son of a bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. He's like the intermediary, so you don't have to uh, be on bad terms with your boss. So I bring him into Ken's office, and I go, oh, Ken, our agent, you know. And, and they say hi. Dude, within two minutes, they're just battling. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm stuck. I can't leave the office. Oh, and my I'm just God. like, oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like your parents fighting. Uh, which side do you take? Because you, know? well, <laughs> you got to, you know, we we see Ken every day. Yeah. Our agent. We see him twice a year or whatever. That's what's cool about uh, the agent, though. We don't have to deal with it. I picture him more like a long-horned rams. You ever see those big-horned sheep things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just you know, get up on their hind legs and oh, knock yeah. their heads together. Oh, there was a there the was, last one standing wins. There was a power struggle going on over us. And I'm sitting uh, there. Like the custody battle. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We both love you. <laughs> we just can't get along. <laughs> it's not your fault. Yeah, but it worked in reverse. Nobody wants Yeah, no one exactly. wants it. <laughs> yeah. All right. We should take a break. Oh, yeah. P I, you know, so, well, let me go to George before we take a break. George. Hey. Hey. What's up? Talking to you. Listen, two things. Please do me a favor. Tell me you're not having spares as we can review today. You just had it on Wednesday. Oh. See, this is a tough one. <sighs> well, Please, yeah. because, I mean, there's only so much I could handle. He has some commentary on fat people today. Oh, that's good. But, but, but it was just Wednesday. I know, but that was, like, left over from last week. But but I thought it was a break. It was a holiday. Look at, look at George begging. <laughs> you are Please, you no. are a faithful listener, man. Please come on, man. I've been listening. You know what though? I think George is like the uh, the drug addict that uh, in a a little moment of clarity. One more rock. Moment of clarity tells his dealer, look, no matter what I say, don't give me any more dope. <laughs> right. So this is like his moment of clarity, and he's yeah. telling us, but he's addicted. <laughs> if you no start babbling his retarded versions of life, yeah. you will be tuned right in, George. Yeah, where are you going, George? You're a crackhead. Hey, you know what? Where are you going? Opie and Anthony are the crack men. I'm going to the Betty Ford Club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure you are. But listen. What, are you going to go listen to a rack black? <laughs> <laughs> one, one more thing. Yesterday... Yeah. During your whole bit with uh, Corinne, yeah. I broke into a bank. I held them up, and I just wanted their Internet connection. <laughs> no money, nothing. Give me your Internet connection. Give me your T3 line. Yeah, you know, that bit was huge yesterday. Yeah. No, I mean, we're, are they going to be great job. On, the, on the web? Yeah, we keep saying it. Steve's here from foundrymusic.com. There's already stuff up on uh, the unofficial website. Well, I saw what they did with the cam, but oh, we're, all we're right. not too oh, clear. Oh, I know what you're saying. Well, uh, no, what? What? You were, oh, you were you were looking at the cam yesterday. No, at the cam this morning. Uh, what they did was they took the pictures of the cam uh, and they made it into a movie. Oh, yeah, uh, Unfound Your Music. Oh, okay. Yeah that, right. I, that, uh, yeah, that is up there right now. Steve has in his hand a videotape. Oh, so clarity. Much more. Yes. Oh, absolutely. All right. That Listen, play that it again and that is fast. Mark didn't get any good crotch shots. George, where were you, man? We, we played it at two. Dude, no, play it again, just to take up time so you don't get the spaz. Oh, I see. You know I what I'm saying? I don't Bump know. Him. I think we need to do the spaz thing today. Oh, man. We'll, we'll make it short. How about if we did uh, an abbreviated version of... An abbreviated uh, version? Do you think you could version? just do the headlines? Yeah, we'll do like two or three stories instead of the, yeah, uh, only take the usual hours. seven or eight. I know. All right, because I'll pay you. You know what? Wait, on Wednesday, do you realize the week in review that spaz lays down? 
he, he tapes it before the show. It was only 10 minutes. Yeah. It took us two and a half hours Wednesday to go through that. I guess he's 10 so minutes. pathetic. Yeah. Yeah, everything he says has to be commented on. He's a freaking mongoloid. Does he comment on the um, on the vampire rats? Yes, he does. <laughs> on this one? Okay, see, then, now that alone I would like to hear. Yeah, as soon as Rick's got it uh, set, we're going to go to it. He's a mongoloid. Not only that. Oh, he says he's an expert on fat people. Yeah, I'm an expert. So, All right, also, don't we have, uh, he finally recorded his, a spot in production, his yeah. big break into oh the God. world of... Uh, professional reads he, he could be a voice guy he could be the next guy that you hear in the movie theater you know new from warner brothers you know that guy <laughs> well, yeah, you know, <laughs> could you imagine that Why don't you we know what huh. I, I bought a bag of jesuizer on home shopping network the other day <laughs> jesus lizer no jesuizer yeah, on my lawn. Great. yeah oh so you listen to the weekend review <laughs> yeah, look at you you, you crackhead you couldn't turn it off I, no, I. We can't. are the crack man. <laughs> All right, George, we gotta let you go. You take it easy, buddy. All right, man. We know it's not healthy for you. But we know you're addicted. All right, why don't we? We'll play Spaz's spot, Rick. Oh no! Get that set. We'll do it right away. All right, Spaz's spot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Were there any outtakes? I heard he had to run through it like four times. Well, tell. He was practicing all night. He was practicing he was for his practicing. big read. As he was drinking, that's yeah, great. That's great. Good. If he does, if he does a break on on fat people in his weekend review, I've got a story for you. It's, oh, you know, okay. it's, it's whenever I used to sign on to AOL and see him his name there, you do like you highlight his name and hit locate on on. on. I can hear you, man. I know. <laughs> so, here he comes now, and uh, he'd be in a certain chat room. Oh, awesome. big, uh, right. big, big and beautiful. We'll, we'll get into it next.